Liam, it, it's a very sad way to lose a game of football, isn't it? It does hurt. It does hurt. Um, what the players gave me in terms of commitment, energy, um, commitment to the shirt, there's a lot of really, really positive things. But again, uh, we, we are the architects of our own downfall and on the goals. And uh, I, I'm devastated for them. I keep saying the same things. I've, I've really, I've said it time and time again. Um, and I feel for the players. There's four day, was it four debuts, three debuts, or lads who have played two games at this level. The, the Tyrell was outstanding. James Furlong for his first game did really, really well against a difficult opponent, Oliver Burke. Stan Ashby was absolutely magnificent for someone of his age. Um, so there's a lot of really, really good things happening at the club. But the most important thing is that you get results at the end of it for them. Um, and we, we didn't manage to do that tonight. Um, we'll come to some of those positives, but the fans will be asking, why do you think some of these moments, the fashion of the goals in this game, why do you think they keep happening? Yeah, look, um, I'm not... I've seen managers give interviews and throw players and the individuals under the bus. I'll never do that, but we have to. I said to the players after the game, this has to be the last time I come in and say to them, lads, you play really, really well. Did all the things that we asked, but in two or three moments in the game, we either didn't finish a chance or we gave a cheap goal away. You know, that's down to concentration, professionalism. Um, and yeah, it, it hurts because a lot of the things we're doing, they're really, really good. But what we have to do now, we're still in, in, all right, we're out of the FA Cup. I want it to be in the draw, in the hat, be excited to see if we could get past Leicester and see what we could do. But in the overall scheme of things, if we cut out the mistakes and if we cut out the nonsensical stuff that we're doing, um, we can still have an absolutely unbelievable season. I still maintain the faith in that group and, and they've, they've got a great spirit. They've got a great camaraderie. We're going through at the moment. We've got injuries to some of our best players. Um, obviously, Scott Twine's gone back. Uh, well, he's gone to Bristol now, and I wish him all the very best. But we're working really, really hard behind the scenes. We're low on numbers at the moment, but I guarantee very, very soon things will look a lot brighter for us. That sounds good to me. In terms of some positives, you've alluded to Stan Ashby. He's following on in his dad, and I think every Hull City fan will be very proud of him tonight. Yeah, I don't... With young players, it's a, it's a process. Um, what I've seen in training from Stan, his temperament, first and foremost, I felt he was he was more than good enough to come in and, and produce a performance like that from what I've seen in training and what I've seen in his in his games for the under-21s and the under-18s. We've got to remember he's still a very, very young kid. But not just him, Tyrell. Um, we took from Scunthorpe, Harry Vaughan, we've took from Oldham. Um, we're playing with some outstanding young players who I want to develop at the right time and grow. James Furlong for his first game, great cross for the goal, defended against Oli Burke really, really well. Andy Smith, we're a young team, you know, and young teams make mistakes. But what I've committed to coming here was, yeah, we're going to want to be successful in the now, but I want to build the club in the future and have players who can play. By the way, the bravery that we show, the way that we played out, Stan Ashby's taking the ball, playing, playing through presses, playing between the lines, inviting presses. I want to develop players. And I was so proud of so many aspects today. 